Zach Marsh, of course, going very nicely this season. Nine goals and three assists in the six games so far. Three hat-tricks against Southampton, Liverpool and Fulham. Jesse Derry has five goals and three assists in six games. And here is a throw for Brighton. Cross it goes towards that right-hand side into midfield towards Joe Knight. And suddenly time and space on this right-hand side for Moulton to cut the ball back. Effort goes in from distance. And it's just gone over from Joe Knight. Not quite settling. Brighton have had that one chance and they're on the attack again now. Coming over the halfway line. Working it wide right. Cardines will come towards the ball. Derry back there helping out his fullback. And just being careful up against this player who gets an effort in on goal and that's a beautiful finish. It really is a left-footed drive from Charlie Tasker, the right fullback. You could see he just cut in. He squared up Jesse Derry, who was in a position maybe he wouldn't want to be in. Got it onto his left foot. Maybe he wasn't expecting that left-footed effort, but it's arrowed into the corner. Tasker going infield towards this left-hand side, and Howell puts it out towards the player who took the corner, teased him once more. Played back across goal, and there could be the chance to almost double the lead there. Plenty of time and space for Joe Belmont. He knew that he had Zach Marsh fairly close. He's gone to ground, Grant. He'll be back up shortly. The ball played forward here towards Austin. Austin tries to work a crossing opportunity on the volley. Just wide of the target. A long one from the Palace. Fall back in it comes. Not a great defensive header. Could be the chance to head it towards goal and then drill it towards goal. Brighton just about deal with it. Initially another chance to shoot. Defensively for Brighton. Rob Quinn's going to be happy with that, but that was all a little bit too easy. And Brighton now can come forward down this right-hand side into the 18-yard box. They come. The goalkeeper comes, and it's the same player who's doubled the lead. Tasker scored the first on 10, and he's now scored the second on 23. He went galloping forward, and there was a little bit too much space for him. You can just hear that being said from the Palace bench. King towards Austin. Austin goes forward into the path of Marsh, the captain. Marsh holds it up, turns, tries to play the ball back across goal, gets it onto his left foot, plays it in, and there is one goal back. Brilliant to come and join in from Jesse Derry. And he's just volleyed it past the goalkeeper. No chance for Ferdinand. And Palace now with 10 minutes to play until half-time. Right back in this game. Crystal Palace 1, Brighton 2. Here's a chance just to see it again. It's a good ball from Cormac Austin. It really is. Marsh battles away here. Would have been easy to give up on this. Turns one way, tries to play it in. It's blocked. Plays the ball back across goal again. And getting in between the two posts. That's a very impressive finish from Derry. We know how good he is in that regard. Alburis losing out possession here towards Marsh. Might be able to shoot. Does shoot. He's got a player on his outside. Plays it forward. Slotted in now. The chance for Austin just to keep it alive and play it forward again. Can Austin float across in? He can. He goes for goal. Not towards that left-hand side it goes. Play forward into the 18-yard box. Cut back. But that's a good old-fashioned challenge for me. And Austin can carry on his run here towards the edge of the 18-yard box. Still going. Gives it to Marsh. Can Marsh shoot? He can. It's just wide off the left foot. Here they come, knocking the ball forward here. It's going to be played into the 18-yard box and played across goal. The danger's still not over. It's bouncing in and around the six-yard box. It's hit the bar. And would you believe it, Brighton's luck sees the ball go over the top. Austin one side of the ball, Cardines is the other. And Derry in close proximity as well. It looks like it is going to be Cardines who does go for goal. He's hit the crossbar. The perfect free kick. Just a little bit too high. Etched across it, Derry into the 18-yard box. Plays it towards that far side, almost the instant impact from Samuel Lassell, of course, after scoring those goals on 10 and 23. Derry made it 2-1 on 35. Effort goes in from distance towards the goal. Oh, I tell you what, what an effort that would have been. Plays a lovely little teasing ball forward here. 
Need a cross into the box. In it goes towards Marsh. It might fall for Derry. Derry's got it. Gets to the dead ball line. Can he cut it back across goal? He can. But can't show an inferiority complex. There won't be one. Coming forward now, Brighton leading by two goals to one. The effort goes in and just wide off the target. And the chance here just to tease the ball in right footy from Derry. Header goes in and there is the equalising goal. A brilliant header from George King. It was a looping effort high into the roof of the net. And what a way to make your mark when you go forward from the back. Palace right back in it. It's no more than the team deserves. Crystal Palace 2, Brighton and Hove Albion 2. Minutes to play. Don't go anywhere. Out towards Derry on this left-hand side now. Can Palace score another? Cardines. Forward towards Derry. Battling away. Seb's done well there. Might fall towards Derry once more. Can Derry shoot? He can. And Palace have turned this game on its head. What a brilliant finish low into the corner. The goalkeeper was wrong-footed. So too were the defenders. It really is a brilliant finish from Derry. That's two for him. And he's just arrowed it into that bottom corner with clinical accuracy. And Crystal Palace, from being 2-0 down, now find themselves 3-2 up. Crystal Palace 3, Brighton 2. 1-0, there was every chance of getting an equalising goal. It didn't materialise. Palace, though, the better side. But Brighton might be able to stab it home. And they have in stoppage time at the back post. This really is heartache from close range. They've just stabbed the ball home. 3-3 in stoppage time. Oh dear. It's underway at 7 o'clock. Friday the 6th of October. Make sure you join us for that. Out towards the left hand side it goes. Tease the cross goal. Oh he's put it over the top when he should have scored. Drills one forward. And running in behind here. It might just fall here towards Austin. Oh he can't quite get there. Down to ground he goes. The ball play forward towards Marsh here. Marsh slots it forward. We know how good he can be. LaSalle has got it. Plays the ball across goal. Oh, it only needed a touch. Cardines was at the back post. The defender did just about enough. Three all the score. Here is Cardines. Teasing it in. It's a good throw. Oh, dear. Goal side, the captain will just... Uh, sorry, Alvarez, the captain will just get it away from danger. And you can see the effort and determination that's been put in from both sides. It's finished. Crystal Palace 3, Brighton and Hove Albion 3.